Welcome to my channel, Stock Rumors. My mission, my purpose, my journey, my pride is to help you make money. Plain and simple. That's my mission. That's my purpose. That's all I think about. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't want your email address. I don't want anything from you. I will teach you how to make a lot of money in the stock market. If you're young, if you are 12, 16 years old, even better yet, because this will prepare you for your future. I wish I knew these secrets 25 years ago, 30 years ago, even 10 years ago for that matter. Let me tell you, I'm giving you here gold secrets, the secret recipe to make money and be successful in the stock market. Now, it's not about making money, right? You can make money once and now you feel smart and then a year later you lose it all. It's not about that. It's about making a consistent income for life. This channel, the things I teach here is not for everybody. This is for people who want to um, make the stock market their career, their, their serious business. This is what it is, okay? Let me tell you this. You, if you could start any business, any business, and you knew you couldn't fail, whatever that is, which, which business would you choose? Now, for any business that you attempt to start, there is an initial investment that you need to make. And for the stock market, that is $25,000. Now, listen to this. I don't set that rule. The U.S. government sets that rule, okay? If you want to day trade, you need $25,000. It's, it's, it's like that. Now... Does that mean that if you don't have $25,000, you cannot trade? No, you can start investing even with $100. But if you want to unlock, right? You want to have the full potential of the stock market, then you need $25,000 so that you can start day trading, right? So my advice is that you need $25,000. You need to make that your priority. I will teach you things here, even if you don't have that amount of money, but make that your goal, okay? From my free program, that's basically my step number one. You gotta aim for $25,000. Now, the second rule, and this is actually my motto, this is actually, you know, my philosophy, this is what I think is the right mentality. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, you need $25,000 and you will save them whatever it takes. Even if that means not buying the $200 pair of shoes that you want for school, even if that means that you won't get that Gucci belt, even if that means that you won't upgrade your cell phone for the next two, three years, Whatever it takes, that's your goal, that's your license, that's how 
you start your business of trading stocks okay now this is your ticket to freedom listen to what i'm saying it's not about this is a mistake i made early on i wanted to make money in the stock market just because it sounded cool how cool is that that you can use straight stocks and now you feel all fancy and whatever I want to trade stocks and I didn't pay it the amount of respect that it deserved okay so I was trading with $600 at one point I was trading with $3,000 and later on I realized man the potential that the stock market has this is an amazing tool I ended up losing money you know in the beginning but that also gave me the motivation just to get my money back I wanted my money back what I love what I had lost at that point I think it was about three thousand dollars I wanted my three thousand dollars back so I said to myself whatever it takes I'm gonna get my three thousand dollars back and if that means that I will become the best trader there is I will do that that's what I said to myself and for months I would wake up and before I would go to work I would look at myself in the mirror and say I will become the best trader there is I will become the best trader and whatever it takes I will read books watch videos buy programs whatever it takes now I got my three thousand dollars back for sure right but what I've learned the lessons that I learned to achieve that that's priceless and I share this knowledge in my channel now I don't teach like other people do if you watch my videos um I have a different way of seeing things right another mistake that people make they want to read charts and patterns and candlestick old blah 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 and okay I did it too and it sounds fancy because not everybody knows how to do that and in reality though if you've been trading for some time or if you just started trading it's not that difficult though candlesticks it's not that difficult as it may seem all that all everything that charts and patterns are doing is describing the past behavior of the people in the stock market in other words is 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 making sense of the nonsense but in the past tense and i know it sounds complicated but it's just charts it's just telling me what happened last week what was the price of the stock last week that's all it's telling me or, or last year or the past five years and okay it's good to have a basic knowledge it's good because I can look at a company and look at the chart and understand what was the, the, the growth in the past year that's about it but to make money you need more than that it's not about knowing what's what happened last year if you don't know what's going to happen next week that's how we make money but again to really unlock the full potential you need twenty five thousand dollars so you can start day trading now another question how do i pick good companies 
How do I pick good companies? Of course, that's the million dollar question. But I can tell you, you can make money, a lot of money, with any company. If you give me a random name, I look at the price, and now I need volatility. I need to know how long does it move? Does it take to move a dollar up? Okay, that's all I need to know. You tell me a company name and if I look at the behavior of the price action and I say, man, it takes about three months for this to move three cents up. It's only moving three cents, but if I spot the pattern, I can make thousands of dollars, if not more. Because I know that around three months, average cycle, it moves three cents. Up or down, it doesn't matter. But I decide to consciously to pick companies that I'm familiar with. Do you follow me? So how do I pick good stocks? Well, I choose a company that I know already that I've used my entire life. It could be it could be your your you know cell phone provider, your 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 network provider, it could be your favorite retail store, it could be your favorite name brand, fashion, it doesn't matter. If you know that company well, you have better chances to understand the cycles. Okay, if I choose, for example, the most valuable company at the, at the moment, Apple, and I'm familiar with the brand, the company, because I use their smartphones, and I know that they release a product, a new product, every four or five months, and I already know, you know, when do they pay dividends, and I, I know the cycles, so I rely less on, pat, on, on charts. You understand? Stop trying to guess which is the company that's going to make you $100,000. Stop trying to guess which is the company because there is thousands of companies to choose from. Choose something that you're familiar with. Do you understand? Does that explain that, you know, question? Choose companies that you understand and build on, on, on top of that. Now you learn who is the CEO, what was the price a year ago. Keep, keep adding knowledge to that company that you already own or, or that you already understand. That's how you choose good companies. So do I shop at Walmart? Yes. Do I shop at Target? Yes. Do I use Amazon? Yes. Use those names. Use those names. Use companies that you understand well. Now you try to guess and predict the behavior because that's all we do. No one knows the future. No one knows if the market is going to crash 40% next week. No one knows. So every time that you put a dollar in the stock market, there is risk. And you got to understand that you could lose it all. Understandable. That doesn't happen often though, but understandably, it can happen. So there is risk involved. But risk and freedom. Risk and freedom. You got to understand reward, but freedom... Okay, the, 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 the freedom that you get by trading stocks is priceless. 
because you can do that from anywhere, my friend. You want to do it, you want to go hiking, as long as you have good internet connection, you can work from the top of the tallest mountain. You want to go to the beach, you do it. You want to go to resort, you do it. You want to do it from, from, from your bed, you can do it. So to me, this is the ticket to freedom. Ticket to freedom. All I got to do is maintain it. Maintain that freedom. It's not so much getting there, but maintaining that status of freedom. And the way you can do that is by your first $25,000, the most difficult ones to get. The first 25 grand, you want to put them in a company that pays dividends, good dividends. So even if there is another crash, at least, even if you lose money, but it pays you dividends. So even if it takes you 10 years, but you will get your money back eventually. Okay? So there is risk. You're reducing the risk. And you want to maintain your freedom. Freedom is the num Your time is the most valuable commodity there, there is. Wouldn't you agree? It's time. Time, time is the most valuable thing that we, you know, in, on, on, in our planet. Time is the only thing that slips away from your power. Time. It doesn't matter how smart you are. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Time slips off your hands so it's the most valuable thing that we have at least in our life here okay so nine to five is an honorable thing to have okay if you feed your family you pay your bills you support yourself Nine to five, excellent. Now, usually you get paid by the hour, salary. They're capping your full potential. You get that? You understand that? This is, this is important. This is important. Perhaps I'm not telling you which company to invest in, but if you listen to what I'm saying, I'm trying to help you acquire the most valuable commodity there is. That is time, freedom, time that you can use for other things that you want. At the end of the day, time's gonna run out anyways, so, you better do stuff that you like, right? So that's my advice. This is today's video, okay? This will unlock your full potential. If you haven't done, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. It's very important, the lessons I'm teaching. Watch my videos. Everything is free. Everything is free. Everything is free. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.